Okay, so what we're discussing in this video, um, in case you didn't see the last video that leads into this, is that there is a problem with trying to do something like this. Select max pages, comma title from books. If I want to find the title and the or find the title of the longest book or any other information along with the maximum pages, um, it doesn't work. And what it's doing right now is actually returning. Whoops, here we go is first finding the longest uh, pages, the maximum pages, which is indeed 634. But then when I ask for title, it's actually just giving me the first title, the namesake. And the reason that it does it, um, it's kind of complicated and weird, but basically you can think of it as SQL or, or MySQL is executing this and it finds the max pages first, which is independent from this. So it finds this 634, and there's only one row that it's preparing to print out. So then we get comma title, and there's only one spot to fill, so it just takes the first title. So these are independent of one another. They're not connected, unfortunately, uh, but there are ways around it. So the first thing I'll show you uh, is something a little weird. It's not weird uh, overall, it's just weird to you at this point because we haven't seen this before. It involves something called a subquery, which we'll return to later on in the course, but I wanted to just preview now. And basically what it lets us do is run one query inside of another. So it looks like this. Select star, in this case I did star, although we could just do title, uh, but select star from books where pages equals, and then this is the weird part, parentheses, and inside the parentheses, we have another query. Select, in this case, I did min pages from books. So what's gonna happen is that this will actually execute first. Select whatever we have here. So let's say min pages, I believe is 129, or in our case, max pages would be 634. So it's going to find that and return 634 here. And then this will run. Select star from books where pages equals 634. So let's try it out now. And I'll show you basically manually what's happening. So think of it as doing a select max pages from books, just like this, which is 634. And then copy that and do a select. And let's do a, uh, we'll do star, select star from books where pages equals 634. So it's a two-step process. And you can see, even though our formatting is a little screwed up, we get The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay, which is indeed the longest book, 634 pages. So we can do that all at once, or at least in one line of code, with, uh, if we just recall this, select max pages from books, that will be our sub query. And so that's kind of going to be a fill in the blank. So we'll have a select, and let's just do title and pages this time, from books where pages equals the result of finding the max pages. So it's doing what we just did, uh, but in one line of code. And now you can see we get The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay, 634 pages. So we could also do that with min, and if we just replace this, You'll see that Raymond Carver's What We Talk About When We Talk About Love, short story collection, great short story collection if you like short stories, is the shortest book, 176 pages. So that's all we'll talk about with subqueries, or that's all I'll show you, but as you can probably imagine there are other uses for them. Um, but there's a small problem. It's not really a problem, but there's something to consider, which is this is a little bit slow. Um, in our case, it's not that slow. It's not slow at all because we have a very small data set, but it's effectively running two queries. So each one of these is run independently. So when we hit enter, when this executes, uh, like I said, two things are happening, two separate queries that are going to uh, take time, each one of them. Every time you do a select, um, it takes time. And there's a faster way, if you are worried about speed, um, and it involves something we've already seen. So there's nothing new, no fanciness, no top secret 
you know, advanced features, sub queries or anything like that, that you haven't been introduced to yet, uh, there's a way of doing it using what you've already seen. So that way is using order by. So what we could do is just order by pages in ascending order. So do a select star from books, order it by pages ascending, and then just limit one. So chop everything else off and just take the first one. And that will give us the exact same result, but it's not going to take as much time. It's not going to be as difficult for my SQL to run because it's only selecting one thing and it's only running one query. So let's try that. We'll do a select and let's just do title and pages from books. And instead of doing our where pages equals blah, 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 we'll just do our order by. And then we want to order by pages ascending limit one. And we get the exact same result that we got before with our longer uh, query that involves a subquery. And we can do the same thing with min. And to do that, we just change our order. And yes, it still bothers me that four letters, D, E, S, C, but ascending is only three letters, so inconsistent. Uh, but if you remember that D, E, S, C for descending, you'll see that the longest book is, yet again, The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. Okay, so that was a bit of a tangent, but it's important to address because I think a lot of people, myself included, I remember when I was learning this stuff, um, setting out and thinking that you could do something like select min, let's say year, comma title, comma, let's say stock quantity, and that it would go find the minimum year and then the corresponding title and stock quantity. Uh, and that's not the case. That's just not how it works as we've seen. So I, I just wanted to point that out and highlight a couple of solutions just so that you're aware going forward, things aren't always as intuitive as you would hope. Okay, next up, we're gonna continue with min and max and use them in conjunction with group by.